Not a powerful and emotional testimony at the Harvey Weinstein trial from California's first partner. Jennifer Seibel Newsom described in excruciating detail how claims Weinstein raped her in a Beverly Hills hotel room in 2005. And KKL 9 political reporter Tom Wade is live in the newsroom now with more. Tom? Mm -hmm. Hey, good evening to you, Pat and Juan. Weinstein was convicted of rape and sexual assault charges in New York in 2020. He faces 11 charges in his trial here in L.A. An emotional Jennifer Siebel Newsom came face to face with Harvey Weinstein in a downtown L.A. courthouse on Monday. The testimony was heart-wrenching, horrific, and graphic. In her first moments on the stand, Newsom was asked to identify Weinstein as her attacker. She said, he's staring at me. Newsom first met Weinstein back in 2005 at the Toronto Film Festival. She described him as a kingmaker. Newsom at the time was an up-and-coming actress. Weeks after the festival, Newsom would meet up with Weinstein at the Peninsula Hotel in Beverly Hills for what she thought was going to be a conversation about her career. Weinstein invited her up to his suite. She said he cleared the room, changed into a robe, and then sexually assaulted her. He was hurting me. It was her worst nightmare. During the attack, Newsom said Weinstein had to have known what was happening was not consensual. Describing her reaction in that moment, I'm crying, I'm trembling, I'm shaking. The testimony was so emotionally charged, at one point she told the court, I'm sorry, I just need to take a deep breath. There's no doubt that these women were traumatized and they are reflecting on a terrible time in their life where something horrible happened to them. Criminal defense attorney and legal analyst Alexandra Kazarian explains the legal threshold for the prosecution and the defense to prove rape. There's two ways to prove rape by force. There's actually force, physical force, and then you can use a position of power over somebody and that can be the force or fear that somebody uses to compel someone to commit a sexual act that they don't want to commit. Kazarian says the defense cross-examination of Siebel Newsom, which is likely to happen Tuesday, presents major challenges for Weinstein's attorneys. When you're cross-examining these women, you have to understand that, that I don't think that anyone is going to believe that they're completely lying and, and that they weren't at least offended at some point by an interaction that happened. And I think perhaps going all the way so far as to say that she's completely lying that this interaction ever happened, I think that's too far. Normally, we would not identify victims of rape or sexual assault, but Siebel Newsom spoke publicly about the alleged incident in an essay published in the Huffington Post back in 2017. Her attorney has also publicly identified her. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Tom Waite. Juan, back to you.